What's going on guys? So this is my first actual full Diamond Dynasty gameplay. Uh, I got Chris Bryant in the lineup now. Lorenzo Kane. Ben Revere is actually leading off. Uh, he has an alright game. You'll see. You'll kind of see how he performs and I'll talk about it at the end. Uh, but at the beginning of this gameplay, I just want to talk about the game itself. And if I think it's a big improvement from last year. Um, I really do. And I am very, very excited for this MLB season. If you guys are too, please be sure to drop a like. Because I want this... I love the MLB The Show community. Like, if you're watching this right now, chances are I think you're pretty cool because when I started making YouTube videos, I was at about 4,000 subscribers after about eight months, eight or nine months. I had came back from E3 and I started uploading MLB The Show videos and I, I actually know, I actually think it was, I went up from about 3,000 to 10,000 in one summer doing MLB The Show. And I don't think I ever would have done that if it wasn't for this game. The community was so nice and awesome. And I just love making MLB The Show videos. Like, even just making them, I have a whole, like, pep in my step. Even though I have exams coming up, and I really should be focusing on them more. But I'll do fine. I'll just say, I'll, I'll make sure. Don't worry. Don't comment. Like, Brett, focus on school. Like, no, I'm pretty good. I'm a very good at time management. Uh, uh, here, actually, right off the bat, I ended up scoring a run. So my bats were going a little bit. He hit the home run with Jose Batista in the first inning. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm just so excited for this game. Uh, the MLB The Show, like, I just find their... Like, at E3, talking to, like, some of the developers there, they're all just super cool guys. Like, they're all just great dudes that love MLB. I love baseball. Um, and they just, they love making these games. And I, I found that so cool. Um, and they actually messaged me on Twitter. That was one of the coolest things that happened last year is that MLB The Show Twitter actually messaged me to give me a card, which I thought was pretty awesome. So, I, I'm done talking about that for a little bit, though. Let's talk about this gameplay. So, this guy that I'm playing, he was... He was different. He was not a normal opponent. I wouldn't say he had great back control. I wouldn't say he was blind, but I wouldn't say he was far off from that. Like, he could not. I could throw him curveballs. I have you Darvish on the mound. And you Darvish, I'm going to sell him while he's going for a lot of stubs, but that guy can throw a curveball. When I used to play baseball, my number one pitch was a 12-6 curve. I remember me and my friend, in the, we were in the backyard way before we should have been learning how to throw curveballs and stuff and I kind of tested this thing with my arm motion my hand motion of how I was going to throw a curveball and I totally changed it to make it like I was almost throwing it with like a backwards hand like it was the weirdest thing and it curved and it dropped and pretty much that got me through my pitching because I wasn't that big I was very young on every team I played on I was usually I was always the youngest guy because I kind of played up a little bit like I, I consider myself to be pretty good I think at one year I was the youngest in the whole like because it was the best league in the in the province and I was the youngest guy in it. I could not throw as hard as any of the other guys. But I just had a greasy curveball that would just... I, there's a guy who I, I remember pitching against this guy. He got drafted by the Brewers. And he, he, he gave me this look after I threw him this curveball to get the second strike. And it was like the most confused look because I slowed it down so much. It was like slow pitch. Like it was just... It was the fun. I'll never forget that moment. It was it's pretty awesome. So you Darvish has a similar type, type curveball. It just drops straight down it's so much slower than his fastball because he has a really good fastball and a beautiful cutter like i was using that cutter all game this game because it was very very effective for me so that that's you darvish he gets a lot of strikeouts in this game but let me start talking about the gameplay again even though i suck at that i always get off topic uh because i love talking i'm just a guy i was telling i <laughs> see now i'm talking again i was uh, telling people like I, they always ask me why did you start a youtube channel it's because i'm a very shy person in real life but I love to talk. I don't know what it is. I just enjoy talking. Okay, now I'm telling you I'm finally done. So he hits a fly ball to left field. I managed to track it down on the morning track. So it's a 3-1 game right now in the bottom of the fifth. And up to this point, they have not solved you, Darvish. I have a one hitter going. And Lorenzo, the pain train, Kane gets a base hit into right field, which was awesome. That was a nice thing, a way to start off the inning. But with one out, oh, Oh, I just totally forgot my words. I just blanked. Crawford. Crawford hits a, a single to right, and I try and score from home, but it does not pan out. And then next up, Xavier Bodegarts, and I am so bad with names. He hits one into the gap, and we end up scoring the run. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this game? What's your opinion? Do you think this is better than the old one? Do you think that it, it needs more improvements? Are you Do you like the Battle Royale mode? Like, to me... I think that's one of the coolest modes in this game is the Battle Royale mode. I have been on that, like I've been playing that a lot. And if you guys don't know, uh, I'm going to be streaming as well. 
So it's not just going to be gameplay. I'm also going to be streaming it. And I'm going to be doing some live commentaries. This video, unfortunately, I could not do a live commentary because I played it way too late in the night. Where I think my roommates or my the people in res probably would have complained about me and I would have got a fine. Uh, so that's why I didn't do a live commentary on this video. I thought I'd save it for today. So here I hit it one down the line. A nice little hit and he plays it terribly. He really goofed. He, he kind of Travis Snydered that one. If I remember for the Jays when Travis Snyder was playing against the Jays. He was out in the Orioles. And there is a play where he climbs the wall and the ball lands on the bottom of the wall. It's the funniest thing. I remember watching with my dad and we were just dying of laughter because he's a former Blue Jay and I really like him. I think he's a really good player, but it was just, it cracked me up seeing him go for this big wall jump and then the ball just lands way below him and then he has to take the air and like, that poor guy. <laughs> so here I strike out with Lorenzo Kane. So in the bottom of inning number seven, Jose Bautista ends up drawing a walk. He was finally being patient here where he was taking some pitches and then he crushes one into the gap. And now I'm getting a little worried because he is solving you, Darvish. You, Darvish, up to at this point, I believe he had 12 strikeouts already. So he was he was striking people out, but there he scores a run to make the game 5-2. to two, And then luckily, luckily he hits a fly ball. I was worried this inning was not going to... The bleeding was not going to stop, so I catch the ball, and so now we have two out. I'm one out away from getting myself out of this terrible inning and protecting this lead. But no, he gets a base hit up the middle to score another one. So now my once four-run lead is now down to two, and I got to get on the bats. But I, first, I got to stop him, and luckily he hits a, a line out to my third baseman. And now let's fast forward to the bottom of the ninth because that is when the excitement happens. I strike out his first guy, and then boom, I hit him with a beautiful curveball, and he grounds out to my shortstop to make a beautiful play, throws it off his back foot, gets the out, and now we're one out away from winning the game, and he pops out to left. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the diamond, dynasty please drop a like let's get 200 likes for another diamond dynasty game if you don't already follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram at brett bqb and i will see all you guys next video